everyone is talking about the coronavirus and in most cases it's bad news. I mean, I totally get it. It's a terrible, terrible situation. And the bad news as well, it gets the clicks online. But I think we should take a different look at the virus. I think we should take a look at some of the positive stories that has emerged from it. Because yes, this has brought out the worst in some people, but it has also brought out the best. And that's what this video is all about. Starting with some real youngsters out there. They have been leading the way when it comes to setting an example for others. One of those kids is seven-year-old Jimmy Dean Hudson, who was concerned that older people were really struggling to go out to the shops. So what the youngster did is he spent his own pocket money to buy loo rolls, uh, food and essentials for the elderly in his Essex neighbourhood. Oh, oh, this is very nice oh, of you. Right. I really am amazed because I've been out shopping this morning. I can't get a bit of butcher meat anywhere. I can't. Now you can eat crisps. We've got a snack anyway. But uh, I thank you very much and we really do. Two teenagers in South Yorkshire, they did something very similar. Matty Mary and Sam Hornsby, who are both 17, they have been handing out bags that contain items such as porridge, again, the loo rolls, tea bags, loads of stuff to the people in the village of Harlington who are self-isolating. I know there's a lot of people struggling at the minute. Another positive, pollution has dramatically decreased. In the battle against global warming, scientists say that the number of people staying in their homes has caused levels of air pollutants and warming gases to dramatically fall. The waters of Venice as well, they are the clearest they have been in 60 years. Also dolphins, they've been spotted down in southern Italy, swimming in much, much clearer water. The police in Mallorca, they are very strict about people staying in their homes, but at the same time, I tell you what, they may be strict, but they're also very entertaining. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, people have been entertaining others all over the world, whether it be on a rooftop or from a balcony. No escape from reality. Shut the f up! Classic British response. Anyway, another thing I have loved reading about is the fact that UK businesses and institutions, large and small, they have all been rallying behind the NHS. Cambridge University colleges, they've offered up rooms to key staff, urging students to return home if they can. Supermarkets, they have been opening for one hour for NHS workers only. And I tell you what, what a welcome they have been getting. And two right too. They're working ridiculous hours to keep us safe. There's another seven-year-old that recently made the headlines. Josephine, she wrote to the Prime Minister saying that she would happily cancel her birthday party because it was more important to her to stay home and keep people safe. In her letter, she wrote, I want to let you know it is my birthday today and I'm staying at home because you asked us to. I think mummy and daddy might have to cancel my birthday party, but I do not mind because I want everyone to be okay. Please keep working hard to keep us all well. Are you remembering to wash your hands? And the Prime Minister, he responded with a letter of his own saying, 
saying... I genuinely can't read his writing. I can read the seven-year-old's handwriting fine, I cannot read the Prime Minister's, but that's fine. The fact he responded, well, that's just lovely. But anyway, Josephine has a great point. People should be staying at home when possible. It's something so simple that will literally save so many lives. But the knock-on effect for the elderly in care homes, it has seen a sudden drop in visitors. But one care home in Buckinghamshire, they put out a call for help on social media asking anyone to send in a card, a letter, a drawing, and the results were better than they could have ever imagined. They were inundated with posts. I also have a wee sister, her name is Georgie. We also call her Georgie Pork. By the way, the answer for the joke was the living room. I'm about to go. Hope you enjoyed my letter. Bye for now. And with self-isolation comes boredom. But that's where YouTube comes in. Obviously, being a YouTuber, I'm on the channel a lot, and I've seen so many YouTubers uploading content, uh, sharing skills, uh, giving ideas of things to do with the family. There is so much content on there because of this virus, just for you, waiting to be found. One example is Joe Wicks, the fitness guru. He is helping kids stay active whilst they're off school. He's holding numerous 30 minute PE lessons that is being streamed online and can also be seen on YouTube. And I've seen so many people posting on Facebook videos of them taking part in the workouts with their family having a great time. There you have it. Just some amazing examples of some great things that have come from an awful thing. There are some amazing people out there and there must be so many more examples as well, things I've not mentioned, so please do me a favor. Uh, let's keep this video positive. In the comments below, keep it happy, keep it lighthearted. Let me know of any other stories you have come across uh, so when people are reading the comments, uh, they can be inspired, they can smile because God knows we need that right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. It is always appreciated. I'll catch you next time.